And these are the last days. Time is up, the world is in such a difficult state. The world is in a battle for the heart of Allah's believer. Who's preparing their heart for Allah's kingdom? Bismillahir Rahmanir Raheem. All that we do and all that we continue to do is to develop good character and ishq and love for Sayyidina Muhammad So everything, whatever we do in life, we ask ourselves before anyone has to tell you what you did was right or wrong, was that for the love of Sayyidina Muhammad Allah inspire us all to come across the tariqahs. If you're listening, listen to, will be listening to, have read the books, have read the articles, have watched videos of anything to do with Naqshbandiya, Mawlana Shaykh Nazim and all the representatives of Mawlana Shaykh, means you were inspired into the schools of adab and that adab is the essence of tariqah. And the adab and their teaching is to open that essence and that reality to the presence of the heart of Sayyidina Muhammad Every interaction that Allah opens for us is then a way towards either failing or passing. And even in your failure if you are a person of tafakkur and contemplation Allah gives the opportunity to learn from our mistakes. It's not about how many times we succeed but how many times we get back up from what we've done wrong and how to improve. It's not that you come through the door and you're exactly perfect and you're going to say every perfect answer and every perfect reply but Allah wants us to be a people of contemplation in which whatever I do I contemplate and that's the importance of taking notes. If you don't take notes you're not learning this course and by not learning this course you keep failing this course. In every interaction and in every action that you do especially if you come across these shaykhs of tariqah, before I send, before I say, before I post, posting today is your most dangerous action you can do. If before a word, a gossip, a backbiting was to one person, you might go and say, oh what's this shaykh, what's this tea? Now when people feel a, a need to explode satanic whispers from their head, they post that goes out to thousands in which you cannot take back. And you're accountable for those people who read that. So it's not anymore you just say, I'm sorry, I made a ridiculous post. What's sorry? Tell the thousand people or five hundred people or twenty people who read that garbage you posted. So it means the, the immensity of the qaybah is again of an immense nature. Not I whispered to one person when I was angry and I said something, but you post and throw out picture, throw out images, throw out this and throw out that. And it's always a reminder for ourselves that tariqah comes to teach manners. If we didn't learn just the basics of manners, how are we expecting to achieve anything and to, to enter into that presence? That's why the tariqah talks about adab, adab, adab yahu. As salaamu alaykum, we hope that you're enjoying the video inshaAllah. Just a request that you help us continue to make such amazing Islamic content, inshallah. Share this video with your friends and loved ones, subscribe to the channels, and donate. Every bit helps. Jazakallah khair, and we will return to the program. Everything we do, I ask myself, would Prophet be happy with me? And if you're doing it from anger, you're doing it from, from critiquing, you're doing it from whatever you're doing it, 
We ask ourselves, one is Allah happy, Mawlana Shaykh used to say, if you can't say Bismillahir Rahmanir Raheem to the action, you're not supposed to be doing it. If you can't say that when you're about to write something, do something, post something, you should not be doing it. And for Ahlul Muhabbat, you're asking yourself, my gosh, how could I do that and think that Prophet would be happy. And this if we don't have as solid, later in life if the testing should become so severe, so outrageous is the lives of shaykhs and what they've been tested with, that they have to have such a level of connection that they have to keep asking Prophet I can't keep quiet from what I know. And Prophet will tell you, keep quiet, keep quiet for my sake, keep your manners to be good. Doesn't matter what has been done to you, stay quiet if it's for me that you want. What kind of yaqeen is that and certainty that you've you been oppressed through immense difficulty? If you don't have that training and that connection, how you can ever reach and pass through levels of adab? That your nazar upon them, your support for them, your love for them, your participation with them provides you and entitles to you a protection, right? You say you love Medina, Madani, 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 okay. When Allah send you Madani, then you're supposed to be following. Ati Allah, Ati Rasulullah, all your amri minkum. When you followed them, you understood all their teachings, all the realities, they are reflections and flowers from that garden. If for any reason that garden and that flower hit you with a thorn, can you cut that flower? That's a that's a Gula Muhammadi. I'm telling you from my own experience the level of thorns in that garden, you cannot. You can't imagine the types of testing that come in, in our lives. But this flower is not touchable and they're filled with thorns. The virtue of, of this rose is the fact that it has so many thorns while trying to approach it. So don't think approaching a shaykh and accompanying a shaykh and, and being in the khanaqah, the zawiyah, now that zawiyah is virtual. Don't think living in your living room you're on your own. As soon as you opened up this image, that zawiyah now is a part of your home. Your home is a part of that zawiyah. You're part of this whole understanding. And you're asking to enter into these gardens of roses, but these roses have many thorns. And how we traverse the thorns will determine if we ever reach to the rose. In which we reach to the rose and it begins to give us the fragrance and the love and the ishq of Sayyidina Muhammad This world of ours of malakut is a world of light and the reality of that world of light, the angelic reality of entering into their presence we said before is the sense of smell. When they want to make a du'a the ishq and the love that they have in their heart when difficulty comes like a fire their du'a is just their sadness like an oil from their rose droops upon that coal and immediately goes into Allah's presence. And the angels take that fragrance to Allah and by virtue of the fragrance Allah knows the caliber of that du'a. Because that's one of the roses that been squeezed a lot, been perfected a lot been put through many hardships, it has a quality of rose, a quality of fragrance and by the uniqueness of that scent 
is how quickly it's rising to Allah what it means to Allah and how quickly that rose its response will be given. Means then this is a way of, of qurb and qurban and, and, and dearness and nearness to Allah To be qurb and to be dear and loved by Allah means that they traversed the thorns, they went through every difficulty, they stayed upright. They kept their love, kept their love. They, they didn't get plucked and then hit the flower and then you would have destroyed your relationship with the rose. If you're not being tested, how are you going to reach anywhere? As soon as you make the zikr, as soon as you have the association, as soon as you play it in your home and you're listening to his teaching, of course your home is now a testing facility. Everything in your home is a testing for you, every interaction now with the shaykh is a testing for you. And how you respond and how you interact, you should have very strong muhasaba and contemplate, what am I about to reply? Best I reply nothing other than, thank you very much because there must be a, a reason for that reply. However random it appears because it's not what you want to hear. This is not a nafsani school, I want to know the entire secret of the universe, please conduct a subject on this matter. Sami Nawatan, okay we're listening to you now, really? It's not gonna happen like that. You reply whatever you want, you write whatever you want, you're going to get the reply that they want you to hear. Are you ever searching for what zikr to recite for a particular need? We bring to you the Muhammadan Way app, an all-encompassing Islamic guide, where you can find special du'as and prayers as well as comprehensive Islamic teachings. Download this powerful app now on iOS and Android. Insan al Kamil, by author and spiritual guide Sheikh Nurjan Marahmadi, describes that in order to be known, the Divine created a sublime treasure for all of creation. The glorious light and soul of the Insan al Kamil, Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessings be upon him. Vast universes, including every particle in existence, came into manifestation through this all encompassing ocean of perfection. Order on Amazon.com. Physical medicine looks only for external signs and rarely they have an understanding of internal realities. But spiritual medicine, they have an understanding of your internal signs and they see what's being exhibited on the outside. This test and this way is based on love and muhabbat. Anyone whom thinks they've entered into the love of Sayyidina Muhammad but instantly becomes angered by the shaykh and enters into disbelief. That they go from muhabbat and love of the shaykh to being munafiq and coming against the shaykh. And that nothing been done to you. Imagine those students whom they have been abused by their shaykh and they said nothing. Nothing been done to you, you move from love to hypocrisy. Then you multiply your hypocrisy by posting against the shaykh. Now you've showed the world your sickness. So means this is a… it's not a unknown world we live, it's not a hocus pocus, it's a very exact science. They know what muhabbat is, everyone knows what love is. They know that when you're going to be tested, we even gave the examples of nafs al-lawama, right above shawarma. <laughs> Lawama, the devil plays with you, 
injects into you from his character, begin to inspire within you that you are a bigger knower than him. If you were the shaykh, your character would be better than him. Let me have an opportunity to show myself so that I can go out and teach and show how I'm better than him. These are the known, these are all the shaykhs publish these levels of the nafs, they know that. So it means for them these are textbook medical understandings, spiritual sicknesses. As soon as the students exhibit this spiritual sickness then it's known that what's happening with them a shaitan has attached themselves to that individual. And their practices are not strong in which to repel the satanic force because they probably thought they were so good that they don't have to read the al khirat, that they don't have to do their salawats, they don't have to make their daily awrah. There's some dysfunction in what you're doing that a shaitan is able to attach himself to you. And as a result of attaching himself to you, he is now beginning to teach you and to teach you against your shaykh. That's not from Sayyidina Muhammad We're taking a direct, direct understanding that if you've even been abused by the shaykh, your direct connection with Sayyidina Muhammad would tell you which has told us keep the best of character and stay quiet. Just you stay quiet and be a good person, focus on your love. Look to the positive of what's been done to you and what good has been given to you, stay good, stay positive. When we know that for a hundred percent like we know our children, our hands and our existence that this is the reply from Sayyidina Muhammad then anyone who exhibits other than that is under satanic force. Where shaitan comes to you and begin to whisper every badness to you, every type of anger to you, every type of ridicule this, ridicule… Because in the end what he wants you to ridicule is the Muhammadan haqqaiqs, the Muhammadan way. This whole of dunya right now is in a battle for the heart of Allah's creation. Because we said, Thy kingdom come, Thy will be done. Allah's kingdom is coming onto earth, its king and sultan is Sayyidina Muhammad and Allah described, not heavens and not earth can contain me but the heart of my believer. So whose heart wants the kingdom of Allah in it? Who's preparing their heart for Allah's kingdom? That heart stamps the blood and now moves to all your organs. So then who's after your heart? Shaitan. What he's coming with? Everything that has to do with respiratory illness. You think it's a coincidence? He knows the kingdom of God is coming, he knows the time is up. He knows that the only way to affect this insan so that the kingdom of Allah doesn't open upon their heart, grab their breath, give every type of difficulty and sickness into their breath so that they can't breathe. And then you see we entered into a phase of sudden death. Anyone asking about a vaccine, this virus is changing. If they think they have control over this virus, Allah changes it the next day and it'll be something completely different. And we don't know who's contaminating from where, there is no vaccine to stop what's coming. How many are you going to take when today is one, tomorrow's a different sickness? Say it mutated, now it has a cousin and the cousin looks a little bit different. Now you got to come again and come again and come again, all the running in the world won't defend us from Allah When it's time to go, it's time to go. If you're not good on your breath, not sitting and saying, I'm going to perfect my character, I'm going to connect to Rosa Sharif 
to be in the presence of Sayyidina Muhammad in every action and every doing that I'm doing, am I going to be good with Prophet He's my intercessor. If I'm good with Sayyidina Muhammad then most definitely I should feel myself very good with Allah If I'm doing that practice and then I'm sitting and listening to the course of this shaykh, I should be doing my muhasaba, my muraqaba. And I sit and I breathe, Ya Rabbi the sickness they're coming after my heart. Grant me a light to come into my breath, let me to see myself at the Holy Kaaba, let me to see myself at Rosa Sharif in Medina to Munawwara. That I'm sitting in that presence, Ya Rabbi dress me from light in all directions but bring that light into my breath, bring that light and qudra into my chest and into my heart. Because that light and that breath when dressed by nafas rahma from the Divinely Presence is a light that goes into the heart. That blood becomes pure and purified, enters into the heart and the heart stamps that blood with Allah. And that now goes stamped with the zikr of Allah from the heavenly kingdom of Allah to the eleven organs of your body. So anybody want healing and shots and medicines and doctors, first make sure your breath is healed. You're doing your breathing practices, you're energizing your breath. For if your breath is contaminated and the bad character of your mouth and your breath is coming contaminated, you're doing drugs and contaminating, you're, you're talking bad and contaminated, everything going in is contaminated in that breath. You're sending a contaminated and negative energy into your heart. If that heart is with all this negativity, what the zikr going to do upon it? It's just going to stamp it with a dirtiness and a blackness and as a result throughout your body goes a dark energy. And then there's no defense against these difficulties. We pray that Allah keep us with Muhabbat al Nabi with the way of zikrullah, the way of salawat, all of it is immense secret. When you contribute, support, buy and, and, and participate with their programs, it's a lifeline that flows through your heart and through them that makes everything to be possible. And these are in the last days immense difficulties that keep this flow of energy flowing to everyone. We pray that Allah give us good character Ameen. and real love inshaAllah. Subhan rabbika rabbal izzati amma yasifoon wa salaamun al mursaleen wa hamdulillahi rabbil alameen wa hurmati Muhammad al Mustafa wa bi siri Surat al Fatiha. If money could just grow on trees, there would be no need for this message. Since it doesn't, let us show you where your generous donations are going. We film, edit, and produce weekly television shows of divinely knowledge throughout Canada and the UK, as well as live stream internationally on Facebook and YouTube. Sheikh Nurjan's ever-growing online presence is the result of continuous financial input and with your financial assistance and participation, this rapid growth will continue. Our Muhammadan Way app is continuously being upgraded and improved, providing an all-encompassing Islamic guide. In addition to the Muhammadan Way app, NurMuhammad.com is a website of immense knowledge and comprehensive Islamic teachings that is updated daily. Your ongoing support also enables a team of editors to compile books of heavenly wisdom from Sheikh Nurjan's teachings. One of our longest ongoing initiatives has been to provide basic necessities to the most in need worldwide. From feeding people in Vancouver's downtown east side, 
to clothing LA's homeless community and supporting a children's orphanage in Pakistan. Your ongoing donations will help us continue to spread the love and example of the Holy Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessings be upon him. Become a shareholder in immense blessings. NurMuhammad.com forward slash donate.